Good evening to one and all. I'm here with the second part of the lesson, A Good House. Let's go on to the second part of the lesson, children. A clean house. Now, you all like your house to be very neat and clean, isn't it? Free from dust and germs. So what do we do to keep our house clean? We need to sweep it every day. We need to warm, mop it every day. We need to clean the cobwebs on the uh, you know, ceiling. So we have to sweep the house every day using a broom. And then mop the house also with a disinfectant like Lysol. Lysol, you take a bucket of water, add a few drops of Lysol, then put your mop inside, then squeeze the mop, and then with that mop you have to clean the floor. Now Lysol is a disinfectant, that means it will clear, I mean, kill the germs that are there on the floor. And this is a must, especially now in this season when you have the COVID-19. It's a very important uh, thing to keep the house very neat and clean, free from dust and germs. So now let's get on to the topic, a clean house. A house may have one or many rooms, but it should always be kept clean. Floors should be set, uh, swept and mopped daily. Wash basins, bathrooms and toilets must be kept clean and dry. Dustbins must be kept covered and garbage should be cleared daily. Curtains must be washed regularly. Cobwebs must be removed regularly. Things must be kept in their right places and dusted daily to make the house look neat and tidy. A house may have one or many rooms, but it should always be kept clean. Floors should be set, uh, swept and mopped daily. Wash basins, bathrooms and toilets must be kept clean and dry. Dustbins must be kept covered and garbage should be cleared daily. Curtains must be washed regularly. Cobwebs must be removed regularly. Things must be kept in their right places and dusted daily to make the house look neat and tidy. So as I told you, your house should be swept every day with a broom and mopped daily to keep away the dust and more important the germs because this is a time when the germs are spreading very rapidly. Then what you should do is you should take a broom which is long enough and clear away all the cobwebs. Cobwebs, if you understand what is a cobweb, it is made by a spider. The cobweb is a house of a spider. You can see a spider weaving its web. So you need to kill the spiders because they are responsible for making the cobwebs. And the uh, spider builds a cobweb. Why? Because when the small insects like the mosquito flies, it gets trapped inside the cobweb and the spider eats it. So that is the idea behind a spider making a big, you know, round hexagonal type of cobweb. So that also should be cleared away from the ceiling of the house. The wash basins, the toilets should be washed and cleaned regularly. The floor of the toilets should be scrubbed so that you don't slip and fall because many of the houses now have marble flooring or tiles and uh, soapy water on them makes the surface very slippery. So it should be uh, you know, scrubbed daily in such a way that there is uh, nothing left of the soapy effect and you don't slip and fall. And especially the toilets, whether it's Indian style or Western style, you need to uh, flush it with uh, hard pick or other disinfectants which kill the germs in the toilet. The toilet as a whole should be cleaned and uh, washed properly with the disinfectants. And you can always uh, leave a little bit of you know uh, hard pick in the toilet so that it kills the germs inside the toilet. Next one is curtains. Now we all, uh, when we have a festival in the house or when there's a birthday or a marriage, we all, uh, you know, uh, buy new curtains for the house. But after some time, it is forgotten to wash these curtains and a lot of dust and germs accumulate on these curtains. These curtains need to be washed and kept clean regularly because when we are in the room, we are bound to inhale the dust that is present on the surface of these curtains. Curtains do absorb a lot of dust and so it is very very important 
that the curtains must be washed on a regular basis to keep away the dust and germs. Things must be kept in their right place and dusted daily to make the house look neat and tidy. So you can't keep your shoes under the dining table, nor can you take your uh, plate and cup and saucer and keep it out in the porch, in the car porch or in the veranda. So the dining table is meant for uh, you know cutlery and crockery and your shoe rack is meant for your shoes and sandals. Your bookshelf is meant for your books. So everything should be kept in the proper place. If you are uh, in the bedroom, your pillow can't be on the dressing table, it has to be on the bed. Your uh, blanket can't be on the dining table, it has to be in the bedroom, on the bed. So remember, everything should be kept in their proper places or everything will look so shaggy and your house will look really uh, very messy. So to give the house a very decent look, a very uh, you know elegant look, you have to keep everything in its proper place and you have to keep the house neat and clean. So with this, I conclude the lesson. Now here you can see on the bottom of the lesson, quick check. There are some diagrams given. Name the following things we use to keep our house clean. The first one is a disinfectant like Lysol. Second one is a scrubber. And third one is mop with a bucket of water. Now coming to the exercises. A. Tick the correct answer. 1. A good house protects us from D. Heat, cold and rain. 2. Sunlight kills A. Germs 3. A good house must be airy 4. Dustbins should be kept covered Next page B. Write T for the true statements and F for the false statements 1. All houses should be big No, only rich people very rich people can make big houses. So what about the middle class people? We all need to live, have houses to live in. So we can make only houses that suit our need and according to our budget, isn't it? All of us can't build big houses. So we build houses according to our own personal need. So it's a false statement. Two, open spaces such as verandas and balconies help us enjoy fresh air. Yes, it's true. The more open space we have in front of our house and the back of our house, the more fresh air we can breathe. 3. Curtains on windows keep mosquitoes and insects away. No, curtains don't keep uh, mosquitoes away. It is the wire netting on windows which keep the mosquitoes away. 4. Mosquitoes spread diseases. It is true. They carry a lot of diseases, especially like malaria and diphtheria and all these uh, yellow fever. They are carried by mosquitoes. Now coming to answer the following questions. C. Why do we need a house to live? Now we need a house to live to protect us from the weather conditions and also wild animals and also for our comfort. Second one. Why should a good house have enough windows and ventilators. Now windows and ventilators are uh, the sources to let in a lot of fresh air and sunlight. Fresh air is needed for uh, good uh, breathing and sunlight is needed to kill the germs and microbes present in the inside the house. So a good house has to be airy and for that we need a good number of or enough number of ventilators and windows. 3. Why must drains be kept covered? Now drains are the breeding ground for mosquitoes and mosquitoes are the carriers of many diseases. That is why drains should be kept covered so that mosquitoes do not breed. 4. List two ways by which you can keep your house clean. We can uh, sweep and mop our house regularly. Second one, we can keep the drains covered, then you can keep the dustbins also covered and all next is you can keep everything in its proper place like the shoes in the shoe rack, books on the bookshelf, you can see the cutlery or crockery that is needed in the kitchen and uh, uh, clean the bedroom and the drawing room, clean the washrooms, the toilets, 
So do everything possible to keep your house neat and clean. Now coming to life skills. Rhea and Alia are best friends. This is how their rooms look before they go to bed. Now you see Rhea's room is so well arranged with the cupboard closed, the bed is neatly done, the study table is very neat. But look at Alia's room. The bed is looking so messy with the sheets pulled out and some clothes, some toys on the ground. The cupboard is open, the study table is a mess. Now whose room do you like? Of course we all like Rhea's room because it is very well kept, neat and tidy. Everything is in the place. The cupboard is closed, the bed is tidy, tidy. the study table is well and uh, kept and neat. Everything looks neat and tidy so we all would like to have a look at Rhea's room. Now coming to values for life. In India, shoes that are worn outdoors are always taken off before entering the inner rooms of the house. Why do you think it is done? Write about one more principle of Indian culture that promotes cleanliness in the house. Now, in Indian custom, when we enter a house, we keep shoes outside. Why is it done? It is done because we don't carry the dirt and germs from the road into the house. That is why people generally in Indian culture and custom take uh, remove the footwear and then enter the house. Now another principle that is there in India is when people come from outside before entering the house, they take off their sandals or footwear, then they wash their feet, wipe them on the rug that is outside and then enter the house. This is also another method of keeping the house neat and clean and keeping ourselves also neat and clean. Now let's go on to the next one. Hots. Madhu has made a few mistakes while writing the following passage. Her teacher has marked the errors in red. Help Madhu by correcting the mistakes. Doors and windows should have it is not glass panes, wire nettings to keep germs and insects away. A good house should have a good ventilation system. No, it is not ventilation. Drainage system to carry dirty water away from the house. Next, all holes, it is not holes, all drains must be covered properly as flies. It is not flies. It is mosquitoes, breed in drains and dirty water. Lizards spread diseases. It is not lizards, it is mosquitoes spread diseases. Next one, marble tiles. It is floor tiles must be swept and mopped daily. Curtains must be dusted regularly. It is not dusted, it is washed regularly. Next line, cobwebs must be replaced regularly. Not replaced, removed regularly. Garbage should be cleared weekly. Not on a weekly basis, garbage should be cleared daily. Now project for y'all. Collect pictures of the following type of houses and paste them in your scrapbook. I had given you the first exercise, the homework in the first clip, pictures of two houses. Now you can collect the picture of a boat house, a picture of a boat house and a bamboo hut or a tent, any three, either a bamboo hut or a tent or a boat house and stick in the notebook. In the first clip, the homework was pictures of any two types of houses. Here, I, I want you to stick pictures of a bamboo hut, a tent and a boat house. That's all for today. Thank you children. Your homework will be to do A, B and C in the notebook and the project will be stick pictures of a bamboo hut, a tent or a boat house and a boat house. Sorry. Thank you.